are live. It's Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time here in Montreal, Heather Boyd, Heather Boyd Wire, and every week we're doing live streams, uh, Wire Lady TV. So um, hopefully we'll have a lot of people hopping on today. I have a few little random projects I'm going to be working on, and uh, yeah, so as always, you could check out all um, different work in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. We have a great group going there of people sharing their amazing creations. I was just scrolling through uh, the the photos in the page looking for some names that I wanted to mention today and wow you guys are making some incredible things. It's so cool. Hey Clarice, hi Irene, nice to see you. It's a beautiful day here in Montreal, uh, very sunny, snow is melting, so my husband just put on the spring tires. The regular tires took away the winter tires so we're good to go and uh, yeah I get to work on a few projects Hi Rhiannon. Hey Amber, how are you? Nice to nice to see you guys. And I did some sketches of some different things I'm going to work on. Um, we had Maya that had posted a really cool picture of a flat wire uh, earring. Hi from South Florida. Cool, nice. And uh, with a little bead in it. So I told her I was going to try to work on that. There's Pat and uh, and then also Clarice and some pictures posted some pictures in the Facebook group of some cool faces. So I thought that would be fun to work on some little faces. And if we get time, uh, there's a ring. If you wanna check out the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, um, there's Natalie, she goes by Luke's Jewelry, that's her account name. And she has been making some incredible rings with little stones that are set in wire. So that's super cool. Hey Jody, how are you? Yeah, hope everybody's safe and sound. This is our distraction where all we're going to focus on is uh, wire art creation, beautiful stuff, all positive stuff. Super happy to be here with you guys. So we're going to, um, I'm going to flip the screen around and I'm just going to play around with some ideas. So keep, uh, keep hopping on, keep introducing yourself. I'll pull up the video so I can see who's hopping on. And ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, there we go. Perfecto. So I should be able to see your comments. And if I miss any comments, be sure to comment again. And there's Allison, my friend Allison from Montreal. Yay! Hey, how are you? How is your beating going, Allison? So Allison's working on some really cool projects. Actually, she posted a picture on Facebook today. Um, I can't show you because it's on her personal page, but it's she's making a curtain. So she's got all this tiger tail like beading cord and she's doing individual strands of beads and hanging with a little kind of split ring and she's hanging them on a dowel and it's like a little sun catcher uh, curtain in her front window it's gorgeous oh my goodness Allison you got to post pictures in the in the Facebook page so uh oh don't worry Clarice don't worry about that that's fine next time and Peggy's here and Maureen awesome guys good so I'm gonna flip the screen around and ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. there we go yeah, I'll, I'll try to post a picture if, if Allison doesn't get a chance in the page of her curtain. It's absolutely gorgeous. So there's my hands. Here's some beads. And uh, these are my favorite beads, of course. There's uh, cat size, miracle beads, all kinds of different things. These are my sketches for today. So we've got the sketches, different things we want to work on. So I thought first I'll work on this one that from Natalie, which she did this beautiful piece. And it's... um. It's like a little, uh, if you guys go to the Facebook page, you'll see it. And it's made with the outside is flat wire and the inside is like a bead with really thin wire. So Allison says, lots of fun today. I'm working on my Lifesaver project. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. Yeah, Allison and I have been doing crafts together for years. Our kids kind of grew up together and and we have craft nights with the ladies. Uh, we used to hang out and drink wine and make crafts. And uh, now it's more like a tea, a tea group. But uh, yeah, we've done so many crafts over the years, collages, all kinds of different things. And uh, all right, Maya from Sweden. So Maya, here's your name. Here we go. And here's the piece that you posted a picture of in the group right so Wendy hey Wendy nice to see you that's awesome so so Maya had done like this flat wire I can try to pull it up on the Facebook page to show you guys and um, what it is is it's sort of like a flat wire surrounded with uh, beads so what I did was I bought I I don't even know what this wire is but many years ago I had this wire and I actually flattened it I have a rolling mill to flatten wire so I had taken this really thick wire 
I wish I knew what it was, but it was so long ago I don't remember. And I don't ever hammer wire. I just um, I just have a rolling mill. It looks like a pasta maker. I put some links in my Amazon shot, uh, shop just to show you. I have a collection of on Amazon of things that I, products that I use. And uh, if they're affiliate links, they're not like I don't sell them directly. And so uh, you can at least see what the rolling mill looks like. But this is, uh, yeah, so what I did was I flattened this in the rolling mill. And then this one is actually... 1.5 millimeter uh, aluminum wire that I bought on Etsy and I flattened it in the rolling mill but you can also flatten the softer wire in a pasta maker which is super cool. So there we go and what I'm going to do is uh, get to wrap I'll use thinner wire 24 gauge wire and then I'll get a bead I'll have to see what what um, size bead and what I want to do now is I'm just going to I'm actually, I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to see it in the group because I can't really search photos in the group, but I'll get my tools. So there we go. So we have cutters and I have round pliers. I have uh, more bigger round pliers and then I need my flat pliers, which are necessary, but of course I can't find them right now. Here's, here's the flat pliers. There we go. So let me just have a look and see Facebook. I'm just going to look. Actually, I'm just going to quickly look here and see if I could find the curtain first to show you because it's super, super cool. So let me just see. Oh, there we go. Okay, so uh, which picture? So maybe I'll just take this picture. So guys, here's, here's Allison's curtain. Is it focused? Hopefully it's focused. Yeah, so this is the curtain she made out of beads. Isn't it gorgeous? So they're all, she's been working on it for years. So they're all her random beads that she's strung up and hung in her window, which is really, really, really cool. Oh, and here's a close-up. Here's a close-up of the beads. So there we go. So yeah, amazing. So uh, she's like my bestie and we, we inspire each other every day, which is super amazing. So, whoo, guys, let's get going. So here's, here's this here with this wire here. Oh, and I got distracted and didn't find Maya's pictures. So I wish you guys can share pics in this feed, but unfortunately, that's not the technology that we have right now. So I'm going to just see, of course, I'm missing all the comments right now, but you guys can uh, talk amongst yourselves. And I'm going to see if I can find Maya's earrings super quick to show you. It might be a little down on the feed, but I'm going to see. Actually, why don't I just scroll through some of the, here, I'm just going to scroll through to show you guys. This is all the gorgeous creations in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. You guys are amazing. You inspire me every day. I just, I'm blown away. It started as an idea, the group, a little, a almost two years ago I guess and then it's just turned into something incredible so here's the earring here's Maya's earring perfect so you see what she's done that's from this morning I got up to watch the sunrise through the oh that's so awesome wow we've seen a few sunset or uh, sunrises together eh Allison in Maine sitting on the beach oh gorgeous memories so here's here's the flattened wire that Maya did and then that this is wrapped around here and then there's like a bead in here and it's all wrapped around. So this is so beautiful. So we're gonna try to do something similar and with this wire. So I have like this thinner one here and I have this thicker one here. So let me just cut a piece of the thicker one and just see, the other idea I had was to maybe drill holes in there, but now I'm realizing it's way too, it's way too um, thick. So one idea that I had, and it might end up being more like a pendant because it's pretty big, and maybe you could have a running photo booth of your group's creations. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, we have, we do have a big, uh, we have a lot, like, on in the group, and you can make albums in the group, Some, and sometimes I do slideshows, too, when they're uh, on YouTube, of, of YouTube uh, viewers' creations, you know, when they're from my videos. But yeah, I, it's organizing the photos that is a little tricky. So so let's see what we're going to do. I, what I'm thinking, I don't know. The idea that I had for this was to, do you have 
a sea glass tutorial wrapping. Yes, there's definitely one on my channel of wrapping a piece of sea glass. Um, you can, if I remember, I'll link it up below. Otherwise, you can always go on my channel and search the videos, and you can see that there are some for um, wrapping stones and sea glass. So what I was thinking, because it's always good to finish the end, so the, the, the idea that I had last night was just to do something like that to finish, like to roll the end. Yes, you can definitely search on YouTube. And then I'm not sure how big to make this, and it's also going to depend on which bead you're using. So I wish I knew what this wire was. It's, but I know you can definitely buy flat wire. It's just a matter of, and I think you could even get it at Michael's and stuff like that. So here is like a teardrop shape. And then if we get a bead, like say we stuck a bead in there. So then you get an idea of the size. Let me just peek again at Maya's to see. Oh, I see. So she kind of pulled it in. A little bit there too. She did a different kind of loop at the top, but I'm going to try something a little bit different. Uh, the bead can be a little bit bigger too. So let's just pull that out. We can always squish it after. So let's just do this for now. You saw some at Hobby Lobby. Okay, that's great to know. Okay, Hobby Lobby guys. Yeah, for sure. That's good. So now what I'm realizing, it's going to be hard to pull that around. So we're going to have to clip this first before we turn it. So we'll just clip it across straight. If my hands start shaking, it's because I haven't had lunch, but I didn't want to um, eat lunch too early because we, we've been getting up late. So I wasn't quite ready for lunch. So I'm gonna do my best not let my hands shake. So there we go. So we're gonna turn this around, around here. I use five millimeter flat aluminum wire. Cool, so maybe I can find a link uh, where you can buy that online if, um, uh, if people can't find it at the store. So Maya, where did you buy it? Did you buy it online or did you buy it at a uh, at a shop? So here's like an idea for something that might work for this. And then we are going to, on the other thing guys that I'm gonna be doing in a couple of days is another Zoom call because I ordered my two something flat wire from Panda Hall. Perfect, oh yeah, yeah, that could take a while. So. Uh, yeah, so what were, what, two millimeter, yeah, two mom, <laughs> yeah, not two mom. Okay, so there we go. Yes, it's autocorrect, right? So let's do this, and we're going to take the 24 gauge wire, and we're going to do this, put that through there, and then the idea is like, how do we attach it, right? How do we attach it in a way, because Maya, I think you kind of pulled it up and attached it around like that. So you could definitely do something like that. I'm gonna just try it this way and then see if there may be a better way to do it, but let's just try it this way. So we're gonna go around here and I'm really missing all the comments. So uh, it was a gift. Oh, okay, it was a gift. So yeah, that's always, that's always good. Actually, the winner of the, um, pendant challenge the 10 day pendant challenge was Tim and I sent him a little bit of this flat wire so let's see if Tim makes something with the flat wire that would be super cool one up one down okay so you did one up and one down let me just look at the picture again three eight four seven. Da, da, da. where is my picture Facebook hopefully it'll still come up Oh, now it's gone. I should have screenshot the picture, but now it's now it's gone again. So that's okay. I'll just do like that. So see, let's do one like this, and we can always adjust it. Let me just clip it here. We just had tried Zoom yesterday to connect with family. Oh, and it's shut down. Yeah, that's the trouble. It's so many people are using the internet right now that it's um it can be really temperamental. So that's why I'm not doing too many of these live streams, but. Uh, Definitely, um, yeah, that's that's going to be a problem, an ongoing problem. So here we go. So we're going to do it like this. I think I'm going to just keep it really simple like this for now uh, to get it centered. Yeah, one up, one down to get it centered. I'll just do it like this for now. And then um, people can always have a look at the one you did in the... Um, in the Facebook group as well. Well, I might be able to, under this live video, tag a, put a link to yours. In fact, Maya, um, if you wanted to, you could definitely like uh, cut the URL, uh, 
cut and paste it uh, in the description here if people want to go to it right now and, and look at it. Otherwise, or they can go to the page. You can actually search the group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. If you search like Maya's name, you can find it uh, there. And uh, or if you just scroll down the photos, you'll see it as well. So so this is one option to just do it like very easily like this. It pretty well it looks almost the same and then you can squish this in here. Now I know Maya for yours you kind of like push I think you pushed it in this way a little bit more right so let's just see without it popping up because I think the idea is you want it to kind of stay in there so maybe I should have popped it down a little bit more that's not too bad so if we just keep it in here this wire is a little bit soft so it's you know, not the easiest to work with. So this is a matter of taste, like how much you want to push it in is really going to depend on, you know, your taste and how you want it to look. Like if you don't want it squished in so much like that, you can just very careful because you don't want to scratch it too much. So we can just, if you want it more teardrop like and not squished in, this is where you're going to make decisions about the design and how you want it to look. Even these, if you find them too high up and you want them lower, that's another thing too. You could you can adjust it. You can just like say open them up a bit and just like cut them in the sort of the same position. So if we cut one here and then one, open it up a bit, try to get them in the same position. Okay. I've been trying to save my battery so not using too much. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's right now, no, good job. I'm out of wire and beads. Yeah, there's been a few people in the group that have been saying they're out of wire and beads, which is really unfortunate. But uh, I was saying that maybe if you guys, if you guys post pics of what wire and beads you have left in the group, maybe I can have some ideas of tutorials we can do with things we have around the house you know like maybe there's some other things we, we have to get creative we have to think outside the box and see what else we can make so Marie says I like the teardrop yeah the teardrop is nice like a nice kind of classic shape and then what you would want to do is actually wind the top as well so it's so it holds in place now this design would be very open-ended and you could just really you know go with it and do whatever you want with it and uh, so Maya, was this your original design or had you seen some other things that inspired you to make this? I'm just, I'm just curious if there are maybe some tutorials or things that people can look at for inspiration. Maybe look up flat, um, flat wire designs on YouTube or something. That could be it. I don't, sorry, Amber says, I don't see how your battery lasted this past week. Yeah, yeah, I know. My, my battery goes down so quickly. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so there we go. We go down and down that way. I used to have one of those portable battery chargers that I would bring on the bus, but ultimately I found it more often it would suck my battery than actually charge it. So, But on our public transit now, on the buses, they actually have charging stands where you can charge your devices. So that's pretty cool on the newer buses, not on all of them. Okay, so there's that one like here and then you're going to really have to push it down to what you what you want to do here and then I guess to hang it you would have two options you would either continue the wire up and do a loop or maybe you could do some little jump rings or something so let me just see what we can do for that so maybe actually maybe we should have you know I think we probably should have continued the wire up so let me remove this one after all Okay, I didn't think about that. I miss public, public transit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we used to take the bus all the time and had a bus pass. The buses are still running, but um, but uh, they're free, actually. You can go in the back door if you need to get to work or whatever and then, and then do it that way. So there we go. So we're going to try to do like a little, a little round loop at the top because you need to be able to hang it up, right? So let's just do a little loop here. We'll do a little loop here and put that, I think if we put the loop in the middle like that, it should work. Um, but I'm just thinking if I bring this down, because you'd want it more centered, right? So what if I just cut it a little bit? I'm going to just try this. I mean, we could always uh, do different things. 
So amber is so pretty. I love the blue with the silver. It's really nice. I love, yeah, I love uh, turquoise like that. So if I bring this around, let's just see. Yeah, turquoise and silver is so pretty. And say we put this in here. We're just going to hold it, like put it in between. That might work. I should have maybe cut it a little bit longer. But that, I mean, the idea is just to stick it in there and then wrap it around and see if that's going to work. So if we bring it around here and then just wrap it around a few times, we're going to see if it's going to work. Because you really do need a loop. And the way Maya did it, she actually created the loop with the flat wire, which is also like a really good option. I just wanted to try something a little bit different to see how it would work. So we're going to go like that. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I probably should have cut that little wire a little longer so it could have stayed in a little better. I'm going to push that down. So yeah, that's definitely an idea. So that's kind of interesting, but maybe we could do some other things with the flat wire. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting, eh? It's just like finding a way for that to hang. So let's try another one with this 1.2 millimeter wire. And uh, sorry, actually it's 1.5. So let's try to do something a little bit like Maya did, where we start with the, the round form again. So we'll, let me remove that one for now. So we're going to start with the round form. This wire is a little fragile, I have to admit, like it's kind of, it's kind of fragile. But let's see what we can do with it. If we start like that, um, rather than forming the rest of it, let's just start with the half loop and then and go uh, um, add the bead and then go from there. It's cool, eh? Yeah, I think it's really interesting. So what should we do? Another blue one? Should we do a hematite one or a red one? What do you guys, first person to comment, I'll do that color. So who, which, who's gonna make an executive decision? So I'll do the hematite, the blue or the red. Red, all right, Wendy, so red, so red it is. So we're gonna stick this one in here. Oh, oh well that's weird. Red came up and then hematite after. Okay, I don't know how that happened. I, I saw red, I didn't see hematite, sorry, Amber. Anyways, we'll do the red. <laughs> so we're gonna go. Uh, so it hardens once the hammer, yes, yes. It gets harder with the, with the hammer, that's right. So let's just put this one here and, okay, sorry, I'm gonna just open that up. So let's just go ahead and wrap the red one in here. Yeah, and then we'll form the top after. So we're just doing it slightly different. We're doing the bead first and then we'll form the top after depending on how it's looking. So we're gonna bring this in here and you actually might be better to end it inside the wire and then you won't have any like pokey ends sticking out. Wings would be cool. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Maybe we can make some wings with the flat wire. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, the sky's the limit. We could do a whole series of jewelry and ornaments with the flat wire and it's it's pretty cool because I actually made that flat wire years ago and I, I I the reason I made it was for rings in fact you know what I'll do next I'll show you guys the ring that I did with that which is the reason why I made that wire in the first place because I originally made it to um because I had a, a ring design that I made and we used to sell rings on the streets of Montreal and so uh, yeah that's why I made so much of that flat wire and then I ended up not using it so much actually my husband used to make a lot of those rings and uh, sell downtown in Montreal but we haven't done that for years like it's mostly what we do is online now oh and I just wanted to mention to you guys I don't know if any of you had joined the the handmade sellers club that I started on Facebook but I decided that it was too much to manage and it really you know, I've done well on Etsy, selling on Etsy, but it really wasn't my forte, like knowing all about the SEO and all that type of thing. And so I didn't feel like I could really help people as much as I had originally anticipated. So I handed the group over to Dave, who is one of my Etsy mentors. And um, so it's it's not uh, it's not the same kind of group anymore. Like it was... Uh, uh, I don't know what he's going to do with the group. I'm not sure his intentions. I just know he has a lot of value to uh, inspire people for selling. Uh, so if you, you know, if you need to leave the, leave the group, it's fine. Like we're going to keep the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club all about like inspiration and absolutely still no selling and no 
questions about pricing or any of that stuff in that group, but you can, there's a few other really great sellers group I can, groups I can recommend as well if you guys are interested in selling online. So here's the, with the red so far, and now I want to try to do a little bit what Maya did, which was to form the loop up here, which is, so let's see how she did that. Maya, if you're on, please give me some, uh, uh, guidance. Uh, Rita says, love your work. Oh, hi from Puerto Rico. Awesome. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for your lovely words. So let's just clip this a little bit. Hi from Australia. Wicked. That's so fun. My sister used to live in Australia. She used to live in Sydney. Uh, she was working for, I think, Nortel at the time. Yeah, that was uh, a while ago. So what I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to have to do is maybe bring that down a little bit. I'm not 100% sure, Maya, how you did it, if you left an end to wrap or what you did. So, But if we bring it down like that and then bend this up a little bit, um, can you see my comments? Oops, I can see comments, but a lot of them have gone by so quickly. So if you commented, uh, maybe comment again because I, I they've gone by really quickly. It's 428 a.m. Wow, that's a.m. That's early. You're you're up or you're still up, up early or still up. So what I think we can do here is uh, we're gonna go. Clarice is from Puerto Rico. How cool is that? I didn't know that. That's awesome, Clarice. Very cool. I've never been to Puerto Rico. So so here we go. We're going to. Looks like she did something like this, and uh, Maya. Yeah, if you commented earlier, I missed a whole bunch of them so sorry about that so and then we can maybe cut it just here okay let's just cut it under here to see hopefully it's the right the right uh, size and then after this I'll, I'll show you guys the ring because it's super cool so I think it was something like this where she did the loop and then this and this works because it's thinner wire it wouldn't have worked so well for this one because this is like a super thick wire but let's try to wrap that. So there we go. Do, 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 do. Get some of this. I cut it a little shorter. Okay, you cut it a little shorter. So I'm gonna look at your photo again after and see. So we're going to cut some wire and wrap it around. So Maya, if, uh, if you have any advice on this design and you wanna share it in the group, um, you know, absolutely go for it and uh, otherwise people can really experiment too with what uh, what might work but I'm going to try it this way and see if this works um, I'm having a feeling it's not the way you did it but but that's okay we're going to just try it like this because this wire is very thin not thin but it's a little more weak because it's it's aluminum so I have to really secure it and overlap it you will awesome that's fantastic you can start doing tutorials Maya there you go that'll keep you busy we can, uh, everybody in the group can start making their own tutorials and share, sharing them. That's, uh, whoa, it's not too bad though. I, th I think it's good. And they've, the fact that it's overlapped is great. And sometimes to make it extra secure, what you can do is actually just go ahead and wrap it around one wire. And so, um, that seems to secure it sometimes a little more in place, like to have that little extra wire here. So we're gonna bring that down here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix it up. And we're going to clip that. Okay, we're going to clip that here. And now my daughter has a Zoom call going in her room with her camera club. So hopefully our internet isn't going to implode. But we'll we'll do what we can here. So we're there's this. Okay, so I've just put it... You don't have to do that little step of putting it inside. In fact, maybe it wasn't a good idea, but... It's just to see how it looks. Like uh, I like to experiment to see the best way that things look. So you might have to like push it up a little bit and stuff, but it's not too bad. So uh, yeah, this piece might be a little tricky to put up there. So yeah, so there's that piece. You know what? I'm not sure I'm, I don't like it in there. So I'm gonna try to pull it out. Um, now it's gonna be super tricky to pull out because it's really stuck in there. So let me see what I can do. Yeah, I did not like that idea. So we'll just cut it. Perfect. See, then now you guys don't have to uh, do like little mistakes like that because I'm doing all the mistakes for you. So here we go. Okay. 
I want to try to make tutorials, but not sure how to set up. Well, Peggy, when I started making tutorials, all I did was set up my iPod uh, over top of uh, the, I have these modular grids. So I'd set my iPod up on top of the modular grid and it would like show my hands. And that's why I filmed for years just using my iPod. And so I could actually post a link to that if you like. So yeah, so guys, this isn't too bad. What do you think, Maya? Is this okay? <laughs> So uh, yeah, so we have one with a thin wire and then one with a thicker wire. And then now I'm going to show you guys how to make the ring. I'm starting to lose my voice. It's all good. Hmm. I'm actually drinking ginger tea. It's very, um, it's very anti, uh, antiseptic so, uh, and it's delicious. So there we go. So I'm going to cut some more wire. And I'm going to have to get the ring form. More than okay. Yes. Awesome. I'm so happy. That's great. So guys, let's make one of those rings that I was telling you about because, and Maya, you'll be able to make these because you have the flat wire. And uh, so let me move this over. Okay, so we're gonna bring this around here. Oh, I'm missing all the, I'm missing all these comments. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to go back after. Oh yes, Wendy, you had, you had mentioned that to me about your husband and I did direct message you. I don't know if you got it, but uh, I think we're, I'm gonna, start getting you guys to post the materials you have or send me pictures of what materials you have and I could try to help you figure out some designs that you could make with what you have on hand. So uh, I, I, this is a really difficult time because uh, not all the orders are like even when you want to order some wire they don't always come through but uh, I don't know about you guys but I have so much random old wires and beads at my house that sometimes I just dig into my old stuff and see what I can make uh, what I can make with it. So if there's anything I could do to help you guys to come up with some ideas, uh, it would be more more than my pleasure to do so. So so let's just take this and we're going to wind this around here. I like the red. Yeah, the red bead is nice. Say eh? yeah, and it's a slightly thinner wire, so it's um it works well. So for the ring, what I'm doing is I'm just going like this and putting this one around. So this one will be great. I have no idea how to get the flat wire to stay together in a ring so yes so let's do the ring so we're going to bring this around and then you're going to figure out what finger you want right and what you want to do is you're going to wind this one back too so we'll cut the wire like so you have enough to wind back okay this might take a little trial and error to know how much to how much to wind back so we're going to cut it flat these aren't the best pliers or cutters in the world, but you want to cut it really flush, right? So, okay. So your craft shops are expensive and limited. Yeah. Well, even sometimes the dollar stores have supplies now. I mean, the dollar stores aren't open right now, but I've definitely bought wires, beads, random stuff at the dollar store or the hardware store sometimes in a pinch. Like if you wanted to have practice wire just to practice different things. So this is so far... Hey, Galen, how are you? No dollar stores here in Australia. Really? No dollar stores? Wow, it's hard to imagine. So here is like sort of the basic shape for the ring. I think I might have cut it a little bit too small. So that's something you're just going to have to play around with. So there's the basic ring. And then let's go for the hematite this time. And the idea is to put the hematite bead in between, right? So let's do that. Okay, not that sell beads. That's interesting. I had I had no idea. So guys, I find this um, 24 gauge wire a little thin for this. So you could either use 22 or even 20 gauge wire for the to wrap the bead. I'm gonna use the 20 gauge wire because this is this wire is actually really soft uh, and the artistic copper wire. So let's use that one. And we're going to cut this. And yeah, I'm actually buying more and more materials online now because I I used to go to my wholesalers and I find that uh, they a lot of them have a minimum, so uh, a minimum purchase. So I don't really um, use uh, do that anymore. So let me just remember how I did this because I think I just put it in here. I'm just going to double check because. We have a whole bunch of old rings that I can have a look and see. I don't know if I still have them handy. Let me just see if I can find one. Oh, here we go. 
Wow, I have actually a whole bunch of old rings that I'm gonna show you. I don't know if I have that particular ring, but my husband used to make a ton of rings and sell them online. So here are some of these rings. And I don't think I have that flat one, unfortunately, but look at all these, what he made. This is like years and years of making rings. So here's that, here's that little basic ring that I have a tutorial online, rings to make and sell. Holy rings, Batman, yeah, tell me about it. And uh, I'm trying to find some different ones. Most of them are this style, like this wraparound ring. These are made probably like 20 years ago. This one's really cute, eh, with the wraparound. I should save that one. Maybe I'll do a tutorial for that one. And then this is a cute design. I have, um, I have a tutorial for that type of ring, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, most of them are this type of design, which is really cute. And oh, this one's kind of fun with the with the um, pearl, but I don't find the flat one. And there's a lot of them, the little ones with a little, with a little, um, with the little beads here. Oops, there we go. That one's cute. A lot of rings for kids. Uh, we had a lot of these little dice beads. They were super cute. And then the other thing he did was he bought some of these. Um, uh, how do you say these little uh, glass things from the stained glass store? triangular one is cool yeah and so he just like did the this is the flat wire so we did little flat spirals on the back and just glued them you could glue them with that glue I forget what it's called e600 or one of those glues so yeah so guys that's so uh, wow that's like years of making rings but we don't do craft shows anymore so unfortunately there those uh should be sold but we can't e600 six thousand cool thank you yes yes that's a good that's a good uh, glue so back to the ring I kind of forget how I did this ring so what I'm going to do is just bend this one that way and this one that way okay and then bring it in between here and maybe that's going to work so if we do actually I think that's going to work so if we do this one here okay Okay, let's just put the wire through this way, this one here, and then we're gonna have to bend it under, and then wind this around a few times. So we're gonna wind this around here, and here. So however many times, maybe two or three times, depending on you know what you want to do, and probably finish them on top so you don't have a scratchy bit on your finger. Okay, so there's one here. Okay, we're gonna do that. Yeah, I actually don't use glue a lot in my work. I've all, I'm always very like, how do you say, um, hesitant because I don't know about the quality of it. But uh, Yvonne, Yvonne's here, awesome, how are you? But uh, now that they have that, that E600 glue, it uh, seems to be a better, uh, better uh, quality. So if you're having trouble to stringing your wire through, just open this, well, maybe don't open it with the, those pliers. You're going to damage it. But just open it up a little bit. You're better, thank you. That's that's good. Have you? I didn't know. Uh, have you been ill? It's. Uh, I can't keep track of uh, everybody. Uh, I haven't heard from you for a while, so maybe that's why. It's. I hope you're okay, Yvonne, and I hope that all your family's okay and your your granddaughters are good, they're home from school. Yeah, so, oh, actually I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to push it right inside there. So what I'm gonna do is let me remove that first. So we're just gonna wind it around once and then we're gonna bring this down here. So we're gonna bring it down. So this is flat down, okay? So once these are closed up, cause you want this to be closed up, you just, this is you're gonna really have to be careful with this because this flat wire can get scratched much more easily. So now we're going to do our three turns around here. And if you have to straighten it out, you can. I fell, oh no, you fell. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry to hear that. You're the second person today that I've heard that, well, actually the third person because my mom fell and a, another friend of mine fell down. So I think it's all the stress in the airs. I hope you're feeling better and that you didn't actually uh, break anything. There we go. So we're gonna wind this around. There, so we're going to bring that around here. So this is sort of how it looks. 
My is my mom okay? Well, my mom's okay now. She's actually, of course, they're in quarantine because they're you know in their eighties and they're 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 not in a home. They're not in a residence, but they're they're in a they live in an apartment in Ottawa, and they're not leaving their apartment at all right now. So, you broke your pride. Yeah, that's happened to me many times. Well, I'm glad you're physically okay. So this is pretty cool, guys. It's it's pretty centered too. And then, so the, that's the, the idea is you just do a simple band where you turn the ends back and then you center the bead and it makes a really cool ring and you could even like do other fancy stuff with it too. You could maybe use a thinner wire if you wanted to, it would be okay. So, so far we have this one and this one which, and the ring, which is super cool. And there's other things you can do with it. I think we're not gonna get around to making the faces today. Let's save that for another day. But let me see if I can do something else with the flat wire. And uh, I'll just cut a piece like that. And sometimes it's fun just to play around with it. So I don't know if this wire is really expensive. Um, like I said, this the wire that I, I have, I wish I could remember how I did that. But um, I have a ton of it, so I don't mind just playing around with it and stuff. But it might be a good idea to look online to see if there are any tutorials. So uh, the only problem with it is, like I said, it kind of scratches easily. So let's just play around with it and see if there's something we can do to make, like, I don't know, some kind of spiral or something might be interesting. This This wire for sure is a little bit thick for... Um, earrings like it's going to be it would be really really heavy but you could uh, make a pendant or something so we can just play around with it and we are in quarantine unless you're emergency yep uh whoops five people at weddings oh wow oh my okay I didn't I didn't know that I, I, I just assume everybody would cancel their weddings right now because uh, it's really not a not the best time yeah, so there we go. So we're going to go around here. Actually, I went to a funeral about a week before this happened. So for um, one of the moms at the uh, at my daughter's old school. So there we go. We're going to go around here. Um, so what are we going to do with this? That's the question. What do you guys think we should do with this thing? And the idea is we we're also will want to attach it in a way that it doesn't come apart. So maybe if we can go around here. Okay. And uh, I'll just cut it. I'm just going to play with this one for now. So we'll just cut it. And, you know, your brother was supposed to come visit, visit. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. There's all people that have to change their plans. We were going to go to New York City in a month, but that's not going to be happening. I would have loved to meet you, Clarice, but uh, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that another time. We'll definitely on hold. We've been going to New York every year for the past few years, so we'll definitely do it again. So this is just like kind of a, a fun, like you can do fun little flat designs like that. And um, I think there's, there really, there's a lot that you can do with the, um, with the flat wire. The only thing with this is it might be, come undone type of thing. So if I was to do something like this, I might prefer to like attach it together in a way. So let me just see if we can play around with that. This I'm just like going for it, guys. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna play with it for now and see what we can do. Your dad was very disappointed. Yeah, I can imagine that's, uh, yeah, we usually go see my parents like every couple of weeks, but uh, but we're not daring to go in right now because I wouldn't want to bring any germs their way. So my sister's there and she brings them food, which is very nice. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, not here. Yay, Clarice is there. Awesome. So Clarice, I'll come and visit you when all this is done. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna look forward to that. We have something to look forward to. We'll come to Mimi and I will come to New York and we'll get together and we'll do some wire making in person. That would be super fun. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah, I was thinking it'd be fun to have like a little pop-up workshop, maybe in a coffee shop or something. That would be super fun. So I'm just making space here because I was thinking maybe I'd like to put some beads. So let me see what I have for beads. If we put like a bead in there. We already used turquoise, so let's maybe use some different ones. Like if we have like a couple of pink ones or something, that might be cool. So we could just play with that. Yeah, that would be cool, yeah. Where in New York? New York City. Yeah. Yeah. Manhattan. 
That would be awesome. Yeah, we went last year. My daughter goes to the American Girl uh, store, and because she's a photographer, she does um, photography of American Girl dolls on Instagram, and she's got a pretty good following and does meetups uh, in different cities and stuff, which is really cool. And actually, there's been a few articles about her in the lo local paper as well. So, Brooklyn. Okay, cool. You're from New York. Okay, in Brooklyn. Wow, I love Brooklyn. That's amazing. Yeah, Brooklyn is gorgeous. I've been to the um, the museum there, the art museum, and um, oh, we went last one of the times we went to New York. We went to Brooklyn for a comedy show, which was super fun. So yeah, Brooklyn's really awesome. It's beautiful. So let's just bring that around, and if we put this here, I'm not quite sure what this is going to do, but say we put this one here, and wrap that around. We'll see what it does. I lived upstate near Rochester. That's cool. I don't think I've ever been to Rochester. I've been to, I think it's called Hobicon. They have a film festival there every year. I live near Rochester. Cool. That's so fun. Well, we should just have a big reunion, guys. I think that would be super awesome. I would love to meet you guys one day. So we'll, we'll, we'll make it happen. That would be really, really fun. So let me just bring this one down. I don't know if I've cut this big enough. But if we bring that one around here, okay, so there are a few, well, I think I'm missing some here. Flat wire be molded around the edges of a stone. Yes, yeah, I think there are a lot of tutorials. And Matt, uh, Matt's Crazy Art must have some. I'm pretty sure he uses flat wire. So, uh, so you could definitely check out his channel as well. And I think if you just search YouTube for flat wire tutorials, there's probably a lot, a lot that you can, that you can find. Like I'm finding this is, I'm getting a little too much wire here. Let me just see what I can do. Just, um, cause I'm, I'm not sure I'm liking the way that you can see this wire. Maybe if we just add another bead on it or something just to, because otherwise you're just going to see the wire go up. So if any of you have flat wire and end up trying something, definitely let me know. This is just one like, this is just like a random piece I'm just playing with. So, uh, so I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but the idea too is you're going to need some kind of loop that you can re put the uh, earring hook in unless you have a big jump ring. So which is possible? Just thinking one connecting swirls. Yeah. Interested in doing a collaboration. He was asking who it was interested in doing a collaboration. Was that, um, do you mean Matt? Is that what you mean? Because I had talked to Matt about doing a collaboration at one point and, um, and then we couldn't figure out exactly what we were going to do, but maybe we'll do a dual live stream together or something. That would be super fun. We can, Matt and I can get on, on, uh, live and, uh, and uh, make our make some wire stuff together. <laughs> That'd be super fun. Actually, I, uh, Matt's in uh, not too far from New York too. That would be super fun. And he's opening a store. So, so when he does open his store, uh, you guys should definitely go visit him. And I don't know when it's going to be now. He's sort of in pro in the process of doing that. So I think he's only like two hours away from New York City or something. So there we go. So that's you know I'm just playing around with this. I'm not sure if I'm liking this, but it's an idea. We'll just play. We'll just play and see. Maybe I'll get another another B here. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the thing is, I'm not hundred percent sure I'm liking like adding this on top. Um, the other thing is, if you want, because the trouble with this is it doesn't super look like. I love Maddie Matt. <laughs> That's so fun. Yeah, yeah, Matt, Matt's awesome. Yeah, I love his I love his style and his art is gorgeous too. His painting in that, so that's really cool. So let's bring this one over and see what if we just played with it in a way because that's the beauty of the flat wire is being able to see that it's flat because the trouble is when you're, when you're looking on it straight on, you don't even really see that it's flat. You know, it's kind of, you just see a spiral. So I think the idea of the flat wire, it would be nice to actually see that it's flat that it's flat. So maybe we can just play around with it, do something like this. And yeah, I think that's an idea is just to, Ooh, that's kind of funky. Now that, now that kind of just looks like interesting, right? So, and then let's just tighten this end up a little bit. 
Okay. I think so far I'm liking the first two designs better, but this is fun. This is different. So we're just going to bring that around here. Okay. You could even like, I wonder if I could make a treble clef with the flat to see what it, what it would do. So I'm going to just bring this around a little bit more. I kind of like the idea of that actually like dropping down a bit like that. So let's bring this around a bit. Uh, no, wrong way. Okay. I'm going to bring this here, bring that around. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure what this is doing. Anyways, it's kind of interesting. So let's just, let's just finish this one off so it's done. And then I'll, uh, I'm gonna work on something, one more thing, and I'll just dangle a bead from it, I think. I'm just gonna take a piece of regular wire. And the thing with these projects is you guys can start with an idea like this and then just go nuts with it and do your own thing, which is really cool. You love it, Amber. I, oh, thank you, Amber. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing with this, but I think it's cool. So I could either do a that size bead on it, or I can do a larger bead. Let's see which one looks better. And I have all kinds of colors too. That's the thing is deciding on the color. So I can even do... I don't know if I should do a larger bead hanging down. No, I think the smaller. I'm going to just do a smaller bead. Okay. It's a conversation starter. It sure is. Yeah, it definitely is a conversation starter. So now let me just make a big loop so it can hang down off that other thing. So it, you're going to have to cut it at least half an inch, maybe even more, so the so it'll be fit the width of that of the flat wire. So we're going to bring that in here and it might or might not fit. I might have to actually cut that longer because this wire is very thick. I don't even remember, like I said, where I got it. So let's just bring that. If it doesn't quite close, it's okay. It's just going to give you an idea. So yeah, so this is this is kind of crazy. Actually, this kind of looks like something that Matt would make. So <laughs> that's hilarious. But uh, so this just started as a spiral and I ended up, I didn't like the spiral because it was flat on. And so we opened it up a bit. So there's that one. And then I'm going to try one more and um, to try to make a treble clef with this and see if it makes any sense at all. So we're going to take this and I'm going to just try like to start it how I usually start my treble clef and then go from there. So if we take this, this might not work at all, but it's just for fun. So we're going to bring this around and on a black leather cord. There you go. Yeah, I'm sure there would be a demand for that. Like it's it's not my style at all. It's not what I usually make, but I could definitely see how people would like that. So so I used to make a lot of stuff like that, like more um, chunky, abstract. I should dig up some of my old stuff because I have some really interesting old things that, that are more in that style. And then we're gonna bring this around, okay. And let's see what we can do with this. I don't know if this is going to work at all, but the idea is just to do some kind of interesting treble clef. So if we bring this, but the, the thing that I wanted to do is to make it look like it's flat. That's the trouble because it's hard to, that's what I'm finding very hard is to make it look flat. What I What I prefer to do is actually make the shape first and then flatten it. And then you can, and then you can, um, uh, how, do, how do I say? It? Then you could uh, see that it looks flat. So let's just see what I could do. I think I think I would have to do that is just make the shape and then flatten it. Because what I do is when you do it this way, you can't really tell so much that it's flat. But I will just try just to see. But yeah, usually what I do is I definitely do the shape first and then flatten it. And then I would like overlap it like this too. So we're going to go around here. And this might look like a bit of a, a hot mess, but you can tell that you can't really, you can't really bend it properly in a way to keep the look of the flatness. I mean, it might end up looking interesting. You, you never know. And usually what I do is I would just like tie it to the back. In fact, let me do it to the back. It's going to be better. So 
it's not awful, but it's not as sort of clean as what I would usually do if I flattened it after I bent the shape. So let's just play around with it and we might come up with something. It almost looks like kind of a rippled effect. Okay, so we can see, hang it. Uh, I see a ballerina. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, so we're gonna bring this around. I wanted to make this a little bit rounder and cool. And then if we just bring it in here, okay. So this is what I usually do is I would finish it at the back here. Like I would just bend this over here. Is that good enough? Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And yes, I'll, usually what I would do is I would just like make the shape, like kind of go up, down and around and then flatten it and then I would overlap it. So we're going to do this, bend it. And this is just so it holds in shape. You need some overlapping bits so it'll hold in shape. So it's not bad. It's kind of like a little, a little odd. And then usually what I would do is I would, um, I would put a bead here, but you're not going to fit a bead on this. So let's, what we're going to do now instead is let's just go ahead and bend the, bend the end and see if that's going to work. We're going to bend the end and put a bead. So, uh, do a tutorial on the blue triangle ring. I could, I could do that. I think I already have one though. I can, I can link one up. That's very similar. It's just the shape that might be slightly different, but I do have a, a tutorial for ring that like that, that I think it's even, um, uh, how do you say adjustable? I think it's even adjustable. So here's sort of the idea of what you can do. Hmm, I'm not sure if I like this or not. Let me just check. Okay. Um, maybe like that. Yeah, we're going to see what we can do because I like kind of like the idea of hanging a a bead from that. So we could take that and maybe put a bead on it. Maybe it would have been better just to put a bead on it. Let me just see cuz like if we hang it down, I think it's going to look a little bit odd. So, let me just bring this open a bit. Okay. I'm going to flatten this out a bit. Now it's probably going to be not long enough, but let's just try it. Okay. So if we bring this, maybe if I push that up a bit, a little bit. Okay. And then bring this one around. Yeah. It's probably not going to be, but it will give us sort of an idea. So if we do this, okay. And then let me get a littler bead. Okay. We stick that one there and I would add, I would attach it with a little, a little wire. So we're going to see, I'm a musician and would totally wear it. Cool. Awesome. I forget Yvonne, what instrument do you play? I'm sure you told me, but now I can't remember what kind of wire are you using? And it, do you mean this flat wire? I actually don't remember what this flat wire is, but I know that Maya used a particular wire for her um, earring that she made in the Facebook group and she could probably tell you what gauge it was. This one unfortunately was a it was a wire I had a long time ago and I flattened it. So in case you guys are wondering, I just stuck the wire I stuck the wire through the bead and then put both beads or both wires through that hole. And now I'm just going to attach it here and cut that. So I'm, yeah, I don't remember what gauge this is, but the wire I used for this one was a 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire that I flattened. So there we go. All the keyboards and guitar. Oh, that's so cool. I tried to play guitar, but I totally failed at it. Um, I just couldn't get the coordination right. Like I couldn't um, remember the, the chords. I couldn't uh, like switch from chord to chord. I think some people have a talent. I, I played piano for many years. My mom uh, was a piano teacher and a cello teacher. And I took lessons, uh, not from her, but from somebody else. And, uh, but the thing I didn't like was when I used to practice the piano, my mom would be cooking supper in the kitchen. And every time I played a note, a wrong note, she would yell from the kitchen, C plus or whatever, you're, whatever she would yell. And I'd be like totally freaked out. So I, I, got turned off playing the piano. So 
Anyways, so here's okay, guys. What do we make today? We made a we made a Matt's crazy art piece, which wasn't the intention, but it ended up looking like that. So, guys, I'll maybe I'll link up his shop um and or I'll link up his YouTube channel under my video in case in case it, someone's living in a cave and doesn't know who Matt is. I'll link that up, and then my grandma did that. <laughs> That's hilarious. And there's the treble clap. And there is um, these earrings. This is like, uh, this one's more like Maya's, this one here. And then there's that one. And here's the ring. So let me know which ones you guys like. I'm gonna remove this, my camera from the stand so we could go a little closer. So let me know which one you like. I love your red handled small round nose pyre. Yes. Those pliers I bought at a hardware store 30 years ago and they went out of business. So I wish I could find more, but um, I don't actually. Took me a minute of two to warm to Matt, but I love him now. Oh yeah, Matt's amazing. You gotta love him. I can't imagine anyone not liking Matt. So Randy says, I really like the ring. Awesome. Cool. I like all of them. There's no wrong way for doing art. Exactly. That's right. Cool. So I'm going to I'm going to turn the um I'm going to turn the camera around so I can say goodbye to you guys. There we go. I'll bring that here and we're just going to put you back in the stand. Perfect. Cool. Nice. So guys, whoops, that was really that was super fun and um far right still see the ballerina. Cool. So maybe I I should make a ballerina. That's a great idea, Amber. And if anybody is interested in a Zoom call where we all come up on screen, we can see your face, you can show me what you're working on. Um, don't worry, I'm not gonna record these. I'm not gonna post them, they're private for us. So if you do want to be on a Zoom call together, uh, please um, comment here, say you're interested. Send me your email. So uh, my email is info at heatherboydwire.com. So if you're interested in coming on a Zoom call, let me know. I'm gonna also post it in the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Call uh, Club, and I'll probably do a Zoom call in the next couple of days. And last time was really fun. Lisa hopped on, uh, Marisa hopped on, and uh, Ruth hopped on, and we just chatted and and actually Lisa showed me some designs she was trying to uh, work out for an anchor and we worked it out on the zoom call so that was really super fun it's like Skype zoom is like Skype so where you all get on and you can talk to each other so that was really fun can we use our phone I think you can do zoom on the phone I think there's an app to go on your phone uh, to be able to do the zoom call as well so yeah I'm pretty sure there's an app so so guys, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay stay healthy, stay, stay safe. And like I was saying earlier, if you're running out of supplies, if you're running out of ideas, if you want to direct message me, you can email me, you can send me a direct message on Facebook and I would love to try to help you work out some ideas for projects that you can work on with the materials you have at hand. So, so absolutely. And uh, yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. You know, we have so much fun on these live streams. So I'll do another one next week, same time, same place, and then a Zoom call in between. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.